have so much time, so I'm going to have to go through this pretty quick. Um, the Enchanted Chronicles of the Beautiful World of Exciting Stories. Peter Paw, the Human Cat, the Magical World of Felina, and its incredible meaning for us all. <laughs> Get ready! <laughs> so this is my presentation to the audience. And, uh, this is something we, this is a presentation of something that we all know and love. Um, so I don't need to tell you about the mythical enchanted land of Felina. We all know of the mythical enchanted land of Felina. Uh, we know that it's a magical realm teeming with wonders and extraordinary hybrid beings, right? I don't need to tell, we don't need to go over the eponymous cosmic fusion event that resulted in the creation of Peter Paul, the human cat. We don't have, it's, we don't have, like, we only have so much time, and I don't, we don't, like, we know this. We know about the moonlit prophecy, right? Folks, we all know the moonlit prophecy. And we know about the many battles of ancient yore. So first, I mean, Let's reacquaint ourselves with some of the world's most famous characters that we all know and love. It's Peter Paw the Human Cat. <laughs> so we all know about Peter Paw's origin, the cosmic fusion event. We know that a shimmering cascade of celestial energies, known as the Celestial Cascade, bathed the realm of Philinia in a cosmic dance of light. It was an event that we all know was an unparalleled wonder, bestowing extraordinary abilities upon the inhabitants and intertwining their destinies with the cosmos. We know that this event is also known as the Lunar Eclipse of the Nine, Nine Lives. <laughs> And we know that, we all know that famous little tale of when the cosmic forces aligned and converged the mythical pat of, cat of Peter Paw with a with boy named Peter. <laughs> so this is a little bit of the mythical, uh, the lunar, um, this is the lunar eclipse of the nine lives just kind of starting off with the mythical uh, uh, cat. And, and here we have the uh, eclipse coming into full scope. Um, and here is um, what some artists render would call a uh, pitter paw before the merging of uh, the young boy Peter. <laughs> and after the uh, the eclipse of the lunar nine lives, we start to see changes in, in young boy Peter's face. There's structural changes happening. His DNA is merging with that of pitter paw, and he becomes now pitter paw the human cat, which we all know. We all know this. <laughs> You know, he's, he's the human cat, and we know this, we know that he's not quite human, we know he's not quite a cat, he exists somewhere kind of uh, in between, and, and there's uh, uh, much, all of the, 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 uh, the cosmic escapades that kind of branch for, uh, you know, since ancient yore, right? <laughs> and we, uh, we're all familiar with how a lot of this uh, uh, ends up sort of uh, ending in a, uh, a laughable escapade. <laughs> and we only have so much time, so I apologize that we all know this, so. Um, our other characters that we know, we have Dogzo the Clowned Dog. Dogzo the Clowned Dog, a whimsical hybrid of canine loyalty and comedic flair. Dogzo's floppy ears and rubber nose hide a heart of gold, ready to unleash laughter and antics even in the, the direst of battles. And when we get into the battles, um, you, we are going to have a specific focus on our good friend Dogzo. There's also Pixie Kims, the mongoose who kissed a woman. <laughs> Curiosity and a dash of mischief, Pixie Kims is an enig enigmatic figure in Felina, captivating everyone with her daring adventures and perplexing connections. So, you no, know, we all knew that. And finally, Jenf, the enchanting eel with a flair for snacking. Meet Jenf! A mesmerizing eel with shimmering scales that reflect the allure of the cosmic waters. Her insatiable love 
Her delectable treats often leads her on charming and amusing escapades, making her a delightful presence in the whimsical realm of Felina. As she glides through the currents, Jens' captivating beauty and playful spirit bring a touch of magic to every corner of her aquatic adventures. So, but we, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was not the Top 10 battles of Felina. <laughs> From ancient your present day, and even the future timeline. I'm sorry, I didn't, what did you, um... Uh, I was just interrupting you to say this is not the presentation to miss the title and opening credits for. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. I'm gonna say that I was here for that, and I still don't know. <laughs> Let's get into the battles. <laughs> Top ten battles. The Battle of the Nine-Tailed Cataclysm. This one's from ancient yore, as you recall. <laughs> we have the Clash of the Nexus Convergence. A foretold conflict where the Nexus Flux, the interdimensional traveler, faces off against an enigmatic rival. There's a lot of enigmas in this. Uh, <laughs> who seek to exploit the interwoven realms of their game. Nexus Flux's role as the Nexus Guardian comes to the forefront. Peter Paul versus Shadow Strike. This is from the current timeline. <laughs> the Lunar Eclipse Skirmish. That's of ancient yore. Uh, epic Duel. Sephiroth versus Storm Rider. Current timeline. And the battles are continued here. We have Verdant Whispers Harmonic Stand. The War of the Enchanted Masquerade. Peter Paw and Dogzo's comedic clash, that's current timeline. Uh, Peter Paw and Dogzo find themselves in a hilarious but consequential squabble when their uh, differing approaches and inadvertently disrupt a crucial event. So, um, then we have Peter Paw and Whisper Tales Riddle Duel, and I actually have some of the riddles here tonight. Thank God. <laughs> so worried we weren't gonna get a riddle. Well, uh, uh, be even less worried because we have 10. <laughs> Riddle number one, this one's from Peter Paw. I'm a box with keys, but no locks. And inside you'll find endless blocks. What am I? Piano? No. Uh. <laughs> Computer. Uh, oh, okay. Uh. This riddle number one from, is, I mean, there are 20 riddles? <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, 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 there's 10, there's 10, there's 10. And we only have so much time. <laughs> I'm a shimmering veil of night's embrace, twinkling stars in an endless space. What am I? Satellite? <laughs> kind of the night sky. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, Riddle number two from Piddle Pong. <laughs> Piddle <Pong. laughs> All right, we can skip some. Do we want more riddles? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have keys without locks. Peter <laughs> Paw has kind of has a fixation. Space without rooms. You can enter but never leave. What am I? Keyboard. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yeah, he had no faith in you at all. Uh, this is this one's whisper tale. I'm a tapestry of secrets and lore, woven in threads of ages of yore. What am I? No. A quilt. No. The Bible. Honestly, kind of close. It's history. Okay. You know the history book, the Bible. <laughs> this is another one from Peter Pot. I'm a never-ending journey, yet I never move. I'm your every step in a groove. What am I? A shoe. Uh, well, no. Oh, what was it? A bird? A road? A road? No. A bird. A bird. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, this, this one's kind of tricky. It's time. Which we are running out of, by the way. Riddle number three from Whisper Tale. I'm a whisper in the wind, a secret shared yet unseen. What am I? No, close, 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 closer. Knowledge. I have keys that open. This one's Peter Pan. I have keys that open minds, yet I'm never seen. 
Green, what am I? Metallic. Close, really close. Different computer? No. Oh, honestly, kind of. Another bird. No. Smartness. Cl really close. It's books. What? <laughs> we have we have four more. Or maybe three more. Three more. I'm gonna say really fast and we just gotta get to the rest of this because we haven't even gotten to the part of like what I wanna say about all this. <laughs> Whisper tale. I'm a puzzle of life's design. Pieces scattered, yet they entwine. What am I? No, but close. Close. Organ. No. Uh, existence. Um. Kind of like a ball of tw uh, twine. Uh, Peter Paw. This is Peter Paw's last one. So just imagine, kind of like this is. This is Peter Paw's closing riddle. It's often the time for riddlers, it's the, the closer is their best riddle. <laughs> Peter Paw. I'm a map of time with moments bright and moments gray. What am I? A window. Close. A picture. Close. Time. Close. Vision. Combine all of those into one. A house. A vision. A TV. A sight. Memor I heard memories. A life. Memories. Memories! Yeah! <laughs> okay, and then Whisper Tale gets to close on one, too. I'm a mirror of dreams where reflections dance and gleam. What am I? Imagine it, it's imagination. <laughs> so in the grand riddle duel between Peter Pot and Whisper Tail, these riddles echoed through the cosmic corridors, showcasing their wit and wisdom in a battle of words that left all of Felinia enchanted and amazed. <laughs> and then the, um, the last battle, the final showdown, Luminescence Phoenix versus the Celestial Eclipse. Um, but I wanted to actually go back to the comedic clash from the current timeline. Do, do I have a volunteer who would like to read the, for the part of Dogzo or um, Peter Paw? I'll read. You will? Yeah. yeah. Let's get our host, Mike John Jack, back on stage. <laughs> Haven't heard from me enough. Hell yeah. Okay. Do you want to be Pitterpaw or Dogzo? Dogzo, please. Okay, uh, then I, sh I shall become Pitterpaw, the human cat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and cosmic beings of all fluffiness, prepare for the ultimate clash of wit and whisker. It's time for the showdown you've been waiting for. Dogzo versus yours truly, Pitterpaw, the human cat. Uh, I'm supposed to be wearing a clown wig and big shoes. Um, woof woof, get ready to witness the positively hilarious spectacle as I, the one and only Dogzo, outwit and outjoke the cosmic champion himself. Peter Paw, playfully rolling eyes. Oh, Dogzo, I've seen better punchlines on a can of sardines. But hey, let's give the audience a taste of what they came for. Knock, knock. Who's there? Alpaca. Alpaca who? <laughs> Alpaca the suitcase, you load up the jokes. <laughs> That's actually good. It says audience roaring with laughter. So <laughs> You guys knew your lines. Good work, good work. Uh, oh. Bravo, Peter Paw, bravo. But can you handle this one? Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Oh, wow, Dogzo. I haven't laughed this hard since I chased my own tail for an hour. <laughs> But let's up the ante. What's a cat's favorite color? I don't know. What? Purple, of course. It's the shade of sophistication and impeccable taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter Paw, you got me there. But can you handle my ultimate trick? Uh, I, have, I should have had a whoopee cushion. Uh, do you... Yeah, I just... Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> oh, no! Not the whoopee cushion! 
I haven't fallen for that since I was a kitten. Ta-da! <laughs> Dog soul, you've outdone yourself this time. Bravo, bravo! <laughs> This is this is your big your uh, so, uh, gotcha yeah nail it. Okay. oh uh, how about dramatically uh, thank you thank you but the real winner here is laughter my friends we've proven that even in the cosmic clash of comedy there are no losers only a galaxy of giggles yes you're absolutely right dogzo so let's unite our cosmic forces and continue to spread joy and mirth throughout Felina and beyond. <laughs> So, in a whirlwind of laughter and camaraderie, Pitapa and Dogzo showcase the true power of humor, reminding everyone that in the end, a good laugh is the ultimate cosmic connection. Yeah. So here are some of the... of wits between Pitterpaw and Dogzo emerges a surprising reflection of history's most defining conflicts. As we revel in their comedic rivalry, we'll uncover how this delightful duel mirrors the tumultuous echoes of the American Civil War, where differing ideologies collided much like our protagonists' distinct comedic styles. Conflict of ideas. Just as the American Civil War was rooted in the clash of differing ideologies and beliefs, the comedic clash represents a conflict of comedic styles and approaches. Pitterpaw and Dogzo, like the North and South, embody distinct viewpoints and techniques that drive the rivalry. And there's more analysis, but I feel like we need to just kind of get on to what I'm actually trying to say. Um, so I'm not quite... So, okay, so here we go. Pitterpaw, the human cat's impact on popular culture. So the widespread success of Pitterpaw has led to all sorts of fan art and different, you know, fan, um, there's different types of fan art and, and people have uh, been making, you know, connections with Pitterpaw. And, you know, they see Pitterpaw and Pitterpaw sees them. And, the, you know, they're, they're, there's just all sorts of varieties of styles for Pitterpaw, the human um, cat. There's also um, uh, some alleged ties of Peter Paul and the human cat to the CIA. <laughs> this conspiracy theory is lovingly referred to as the Peter Paul Human Enigma Project, Cosmic Mind Control Unveiled. The Peter Paul Human Enigma Project is a spine-chilling conspiracy theory that thrusts the Peter that thrusts Peter Paul, the human cat, into the center of a sinister and nefarious CIA operation, allegedly under the ominous direction of the notorious psychiatrist Dr. Jolly West. The covert project aimed to wield cosmic mind control for insidious purposes. This speculative theory suggests that the Peter Paul lore dump. A seemingly innocuous phenomenon was engineered to tap into unsuspecting individuals and transform them into unwitting sleeper agents for covert operations. Yeah, of course. Uh, but also, some people claim that that's not true. Uh, but we're, I, I ran out of time for what I really wanted to say. Uh, and I, I don't, I think, um, I think I think it's time for questions. <laughs> what the fuck is this from? <laughs> um, can we uh, yeah. Peter Paul the human cat, a charismatic blend of human intellect and feline curiosity. Peter Paul navigates cosmic conundrums with his endearing whisker and an uncanny. I thought I thought I might have I maybe forgot to say that, but um, Peter Paul smell like? smells like oh gosh. Um, well, he doesn't quite smell like kitty litter, and he also doesn't quite smell like an email. <laughs> yes? Alright, was that eel munching on the pizza lunchable? <laughs> What's what? <laughs> if you go back, it looks like the eel was The eel? Oh, the eel! Yeah, it was, it was, it was eating a lunchable. Yeah. <laughs> Eel? <laughs> the beautiful eel. Eel. 
In the back. <laughs> Opening line for the keyboard riddle. I have keys but no lock. Um. <laughs> sure. I thought it was I have a box with no locks. For the keyboard riddle, I have keys without locks. What about well, a what about a, what about a piano keyboard? But then space doesn't make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Did you make these riddles? No. No, it's that is riddle number 11. Uh, <laughs> do you have any other que any questions? Yes. I have a question. Um, what are the major themes of Pit Apart that we can bring upon in our own lives and manifest? Yes, yes. Well, Pit Apart is... Um, the major themes of Pit Apart involve... Uh, uh, a cosmic understanding of the people around you, uh, and it also involves um, never giving up, uh, and it involves you know uh, you know no matter who if you're you know if you're you know fully a human or you're fully a cat or something in between to just be you know nice to each other and if it if it comes to conflict you better have uh, uh, you better have a, a comedic clash. Uh, and don't go hard, but some of the other battles, they actually were a lot of deaths, so, um, the phoenix, the, the, yeah, there, some of this, it, it does get kind of dark during part of it. I would say the, the main theme is to, no matter, no matter who you are, whether it's, you know, if you're not even a full cat, right, or, you know, you're not even a part of a, your human, Hey, let's all hang out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last question for you. Would you recommend people using ChatGPT to make comedy? Uh... <laughs> I would say that it makes it easier because um, computer does a lot of the work. <laughs> so um, I, uh, I would say if you if you make something that you think is fun and you you uh, if you think you can have fun with it, then I would say go for it, but that does not mean that it is a, it, it is a tool, it is not a t complete replacement. And that's the, that's the pitter paw guarantee. <laughs> Hell yeah, I think it hurts everybody.